Credit cards at car dealerships? Should they be allowed for use in deposits, down payments, or even total car purchases? Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here today with Amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. Many of our viewers, Liz, ask us about using a credit card for making deposits, down payments, or even buying a car. Yes, like viewer Dave asks, do dealerships accept credit cards generally? Generally, but not often for things like a car purchase or a huge down payment. But while it's a no for some things, it's not a no for all things, and it's not a no from all dealers. There's a reason viewers want to use a credit card, and those reasons make sense to us. Like this viewer, user GC, who says, can't you use a credit card? I get cash rewards. Mm -hmm. Yes, there can be cash rewards. There are also credit cards that offer huge airline bonus points and other incentives. Yeah. Things that can be handy for stuff like family vacations. Generally, we haven't discussed credit cards on this show before. Like Ron Alberto points out, can you use a credit card to finance the deal? You didn't mention it. No, we haven't mentioned it, Ron. And it's largely because we are aware that dealers have concerns about credit cards. We're sharing those concerns with you today and how you can get around them. Friends, there's a basic reason why many dealers don't like to allow you to make a deposit to hold or order a car or even pay entirely for your car with a credit card. But any savvy car buyer can negotiate their way around the dealer resistance to this option. Nothing to worry about if all it takes is a little savvy negotiation, right? Negotiating is something you had to do on the price of the car, so why not keep your negotiating hat on when presented with the opportunity to use your credit card? Even if you get some pushback, you want to earn those rewards and valuable points in the process, right? Right. Now, while dealers love to cite made-up laws as explanations for things, the reason dealers don't like to allow their customers to use a credit card for a deposit or any portion of their vehicle transaction actually has nothing to do with some strange law or regulation. Not at all. The real reason is rich with irony, and it's the very reason we think you should seriously push for it if you're told no by the dealer. If it's a car salesman you're talking to who says no to you, you will need to go up the ladder, so first get a manager involved in this next step. We've got just the perfect argument for you to use in the upcoming conversation. Are you ready for this? Here's the reason dealers don't like credit cards. Kevin? Dealers don't like to accept credit cards because of the fees. Fees. You can Google it and you'll see this explanation. One of the biggest reasons car dealers don't encourage using a credit card is that it costs them money. The dealership has to pay a transaction fee of around 3% when the customer uses a credit card. When you consider the cost of an average car, that fee can be an expensive way for them to make a sale. This chart here shows what typical fees are for the types of major credit cards out there. Jaws just hit the table everywhere in our viewing audience. Dealers don't want to pay credit card fees, really? They don't like paying fees? They say it's an expensive way to make a sale? What about fees being an expensive way to make a purchase from a dealership? Yes, dealers don't like credit cards because of the fees. Hard to believe, isn't it? <laughs> As Liz said, it's funny that it doesn't seem to occur to them that fees are an expensive way to make a car purchase, especially when those fees can be 8 to 10% of the purchase, often totaling in the thousands of dollars. The dealer crowd in the last few years has absolutely fallen head over heels in love with fees, charging them relentlessly to consumers, and they don't like to pay fees themselves? <laughs> oh, the irony. But you can negotiate your way around their resistance by using this argument. As Liz said, if it's a car salesman you're talking to for this next step, you'll need a manager involved. You should start the conversation by saying, I understand you don't want to accept my credit card for this transaction. When he or she confirms that, then ask, is it mainly the credit card fees you have a problem with? And then when you get a yes to this, follow up with this question, are you trying to tell me that the small fees that credit cards have, which are just one and a half to three and a half percent of the transaction, that these fees are too high for you? You're saying you don't want to pay that, and yet you have the audacity to expect me to pay somewhere in the eight to 10% range or whatever the total is that you're looking at in dealer fees on this vehicle. It's not likely they've met this argument before, so they'll be left speechless. Now, that's what you call irony, isn't it? That is so true. The king of charging excessive fees which is exactly what a typical car dealer does, has the audacity to complain that paying a relatively small credit card fee on the transaction is a problem. That is the picture of irony. All right, I outlined your argument for using the credit card and I hope you use it. Now let's talk about why it's not only that you should be permitted to use a credit card, it's also very intelligent to use a credit card to put a deposit on a vehicle you are either ordering or asking the dealer to hold for you because of the protection it offers you. We emphatically suggest that you don't put actual cash down for a deposit as in U.S. currency. And don't write a check out of your checking account for a vehicle deposit either. 
Either form of payment leaves you quite vulnerable. The reason is quite simple. We've published content in the past about buyers getting burned by a dealer deposit game. We recorded that before I was fully recovered from my hospitalization. So we apologize in advance that Kevin was still on oxygen and his voice sounds weak on that video. Maybe we'll have to do that video again soon. The reason you want to put an advanced vehicle order deposit or a vehicle hold deposit on a credit card is that it offers you options and gives you better protection if the dealer starts playing games with you, threatening to keep your deposit. The truth is that dealers playing games with a deposit on a vehicle is actually a pretty common problem, and any dealer refusing to accept a credit card for the typically small deposit needed on a vehicle is waving a bright red flag in your face. In this case, there are little to no fees impacting the transaction, certainly nothing the dealer should be objective to. If they do object to accepting the credit card, we suggest just walking away from that dealer. Unfortunately, they are telling you that they don't want you having the protection of simply disputing the charge with your credit card company and getting the charges reversed if this interaction goes south on you. There are sources who have published info on the use of credit cards at dealerships. One of them is AutoTrader. Here are the AutoTrader quick facts about buying a car with a credit card. It's more likely for a dealership to take a credit card for a part of the down payment than for the entire purchase price. We tend to agree with that. A dealership willing to accept a credit card for a large amount may make you pay the transaction processing fee, which might be 3% or more. We think if the dealer thinks they have the right to charge you the fees, then they should be more than happy to pay some fees themselves. That's right. Using a credit card to buy a car isn't the best decision, so consider other options to avoid negative financial impact for yourself. This could be very true. As we said earlier, we are assuming you wouldn't leave this charge on your credit card, opening the door for some huge interest charges. That's a great point. Credit cards typically do have much higher interest rates than a car loan does. In recent Federal Reserve data, the average APR in February 2023 for credit card accounts that charge interest was at 20.92%. That could really hurt you. The average interest rate from banks for 60-month new auto loans was 7.48% around the same time period. Of course, each bank uses different rates for given customers. Sure. Still, the wide difference in interest rates illustrates that having a car loan will be cheaper than using a credit card and spreading out monthly payments. At least one situation makes using a credit card to purchase all or part of the car very beneficial. For example, taking advantage of a new card that offers 0% APR. If you're able to pay the balance before the promotion ends, you're essentially paying no interest to finance a car. Remember that there's a possibility you might be hit with an additional fee from the dealership to account for its card processing expense, which could be as high as 3% of the transaction amount. Since you can't really get 3% on a car loan right now, yet yeah, that might still be worth it. That's right. One last thing I want to make sure our viewers are aware of. We mentioned this in a show titled, Car Loans Are Playing Hard to Get. THG shows how to succeed anyway. If you missed it, go back and see it. Using a significant amount of your credit limit could have negative effects on your credit score. The major credit bureaus, Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion, use many variables to set your credit score, each using a different formula. One primary factor for all three agencies is your credit utilization ratio, which is the amount of credit you use compared to how much you have available. Making a large purchase like a car on your card will get you closer to the credit limit placed on your card. That high ratio could very well negatively impact your credit score. If you enjoyed today's show and you're new here, don't forget to smack that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications of new shows. For those of you just entering the car market, you should be aware of all the free resources we have for you on our website, thehomeworkguide.com. From a free car buyer's guide to free email templates to use with car dealers to a list of fake fees and even the FTC rules printout, it's all there, free for you to download and use when you're car shopping. As Liz reminded you, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications. It's free and painless, and it does help us out a lot. And give this video a like if you appreciate what we do here for you. Right here, courtesy of the Homework Guide team and our show, is where you'll always find the most dependable tips and helpful information to assist you with finding an enjoyable car buying experience in today's car market. If you've recently joined us as a subscriber, we thank you, appreciate you, and welcome you aboard. Also, thanks again to our many faithful followers who just keep coming back, and to all of our longtime subscribers out there, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with Amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. The Homework Guy team is serving truth and justice in the car business and always will. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.